Kronecker Capelli's theorem states that if you have a linear function with the usual domain Rn and codomain Rm, if it's linear, we can rewrite it in matrix form as A times the x vector. And if we set it equal to a particular B vector, the system is going to be possible if and only if the rank of A is equal to the rank of A with B. So the proof is actually pretty straightforward because even though it's an if and only if statement, we're going to prove them uh, both at the same time. So if we start off saying that uh, AX equals B is possible, specifically that means that there is a solution of X that makes this equation hold. So there is an X factor in RN where x is given by x1, x2, etc. such that a times x equals b. And um, if a is given by the representation matrix, which is given by the functions of the fundamental vectors, So this is from the representation theorem. If we are multiplying a times x, so we're multiplying f e1, etc., times x1, x2, and so on, then if you actually multiply out with matrices, you multiply row times column, you're going to have x1, f e1 x2, f e2, all added together. And so here we're saying that uh, b is a linear combination of these uh, columns of the representation matrix where x1, x2, etc., they're the coefficients, so essentially they're the alpha values. So this is equivalent to saying that there exists x1, x2, xn values in R, such that B is a linear combination. of the columns of the A matrix. And if B is a linear combination, then that's equivalent to saying that it's dependent on those columns. So B is dependent on the columns of A. And so if B is dependent, if you take the rank of A and then you take the rank of A with B, remember that rank means the number of independent columns or rows, and rows actually, in a matrix. So if the B vector is dependent, then that vector that you're adding to the A matrix is not independent, which means that it's not going to increase the rank. And so the rank is going to stay the same. So generally, anytime um, you want something to depend on something else, the idea is that the matrix before and after you add that new vector should have the same rank, meaning that the number of independent columns does not change because the column that you just added, so in this case the B vector, is dependent.